Let's take a look at Youth Voices Crocodoc folder. Um, you can find it by, after you've logged in, clicking on uh, your hello name here, going to Member Home. And then under Member Home, you'll find a link to you, the Youth Voices Crocodoc folder. Everything in here is open. There are about a hundred folders that have been added over the years. Notice there's no need to log in or anything. You just uh, open a folder and find an article and start annotating it. Um, so, for example, if you wanted to look at cutting, self-injury, um, and you come to this PDF, you could come here, open this up, and see that some other students are reading this already. Um, first of all, over here in the left-hand corner is exactly where you would oh, notice that it, it might pop up with this closed. Come on. <laughs> and so see these two little arrows here in the upper right hand corner? You'd open those two up and you'd put your name in right here. Now if you don't want to read what the other students have, have written already, you want a clean copy, you can uncheck each of them or all of them. And then the three things that you would want to use for comments are uh, right under here under comment. You may use point comment for pointing to very specific words that you would like to talk about. You want to use the area comment for commenting on entire paragraphs or, or little pieces of an image perhaps as well. And then you want to use the text comment for highlighting a sentence or so that you would like to talk about. Yeah, text comments sometimes is a problem. But let's say you want to do a little bit that way. OK. So that's how you can um, use the commenting feature to make comments on a Crocodoc um, document. While it's true that you can put anything, a um, Word document, an image, a JPEG, or a PDF up in Crocodoc, most of the documents um, are, are uh, PDFs. I wanted to show you a nice tool to use to turn a web page into a um, print-friendly PDF. And so if you search for print-friendly PDF, if you go to printfriendly.com, you'll find that you can just put a URL in there and it'll make it for you. You can come up here and, and grab a couple of the browser tools. You want to use the Chrome extension in the future. You can pop that up there or just by clicking on it and you can pull this print friendly up to your bookmark bar too. That works just fine. Um, either way it works. All right. So let's go find a topic very quickly and I'll show you how that print friendly works. I'm going to choose a topic from a student in Fremont um, who's looking at racial identity and racism in the U.S. Alright, so there are lots of ways to identify a good article here. Um, uh, I wanted to find one. I teach sixth graders, so I teach them how to use this um, search tools. Go to all results and go to reading level. You can do that too if you'd like to find basic, intermediate, or advanced. We're going to look under basic, and we'll find. Oh, one of the ways to be pretty sure is this Facing History and Ourselves is a great organization. And they have an interesting letter here. And some other things. Um, that looks like an interesting article. Let's choose that. Yeah, it's all there. Um, I have my printer set to save as a PDF. You can do that too if you don't have it. And I'm going to save the title here. Uh, you can't put any question marks or other kinds of characters up here, but you want to save it. 
and then let's go back to youth voices and remember home in the crocodile folder and we're going to look here for racism we're going to search on the page for racism and we find the folder if the if there was no um, article folder for your topic you would just create a new folder which is quite fine to do but in this case there is already one so I'm going to add a document to that folder so I click on and it uploads and converts and once it's up here it gives us a unique URL um, I like to sometimes pull this down onto my if I'm going to use this computer again here um, so that I can get quick access to it but um, again check here make sure your name is appearing um, if not put it in and then you can use the commenting features point area or text comment to comment on this document um, and then you could share out this with um, somebody who's also reading about racism for example and you can share together and annotate together. So I hope that makes it clear. Thank you.